And just some devastating strikes from the back by Oliver. So already we've seen Oliver taste the shots of Triolo, and we've seen him land a beautiful lead right hand. Landed a beautiful shot, and, and then when you see him going to what is his strength, that's what makes wrestlers so good in MMA right arm now. Arm triangle. Looking at that arm triangle. He needs to get to the other side, and but he's there. Got it is the tap, and just like that, Jordan Oliver, welcome to mixed martial arts. Oliver with the arm triangle choke gets it done in round number one. And a huge sigh of relief for Jordan Oliver, 33. Getting that first one, no matter what, no matter how many wrestling matches you had, this is different. There's nerves, but take a look at what happens here. That change of levels, beautifully done. Takes him straight down and just starts to use the ground and pound. And this is what, again, makes someone with the wrestling pedigree of Jordan Oliver so good in the sport of MMA. Look at the pressure he's able to put in that choke. That is not the normal position you're going to see an arm triangle choke work, but physically strong and understands leverage, and that makes it very tight. 47. In terms of punches right now, Doreen with a huge edge. 22-7, John. So a big uh, opening round for Doreen. Oh, oh it's and an even it's bigger finish. He went out. The right hand. Marcelli Doreen John delivering on his prediction a knockout set up with that right hand dropping Hodge and then dropping those hammer fists take a look at the shot right there that big right hand you see he hits him here kind of goes out brings him back with another shot he was on target winging shots wide but they were landing and so he went after him again big finish right here puts him out actually for a second time Doreen just looking super aggressive, super sharp, and definitely has the power. Jarrell Hodge gets knocked out for the first time, and his five-fight winning streak evaporates as Marcelle Doreen putting his hands together and dropping the hammer fist, hammering his way to a big win in his Bellator uh, MMA oh, debut. Oh, oh. And he'll be good. He's got space. He can actually get there. Yep, there he is. That's tight. And the first round finish fiesta continues. In the final minute, Sullivan Cully responds to his first loss via submission by recording his first submission as a professional, vanquishing Hamza Salim in the first round. Somebody knows that I got to be on a plane at 5 a.m., John. <laughs> I think someone is trying to help you out. Arm triangle. Let's take a look at what happens here. Nice right hand that gets his attention, brings the knee up. It does hit. Beautiful. And at that point right there, you can see the wobbling of Salim. He's hurt by that. Does a good job of gaining distance and space. Here's where Kali decides to take him to the ground. And, and Salim did a great job of defending himself in a lot of the positions here. He was throwing elbows, but once you saw that arm get trapped and you saw Kali get to this position on his side, that is tight, that can put you to sleep, which it does to Salim. Sullivan Kali with the and a spinning wheel kick. Misses for Mihailov. There's another kick. That was a good kick right there. And that kick as Mihailov was throwing one, and Ego quickly attacks the neck. Right back to it again. You can tell Mihailov is feeling like he's safe right now. Oh, and no. The tap. Leandro Ego forcing Nikita Mihailov to tap. It's the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Wu Tang Clan always says, protect your neck. Mihailov unable to do so as Leandro Ego picks up a huge victory. Whoa, Big victory. Whoa, yeah, we talked me, about me, Ego's me, guillotine me, and how tight it can be. <laughs> and it looked like Mihailov thought he was whoa. safe again, like he was whoa. in that first round. But all of a sudden, it got tight. Nice kick right there on the inside. You see Ego do the same thing. 
And when he goes to this guillotine right here on that side, he's squeezing in on both. He's really not extending out with the hips. And all of a sudden, it changes up right there. That's where the change was. Beautifully done by Leandro Ego. Ego's 13th submission victory, his second consecutive submission win via guillotine choke, and for the first time in his career, Mihailov taps out to a guillotine that was also submitted via triangle choke, and the party has started. With one knockout, six submission wins, including his last four victories, and oh! Unbelievable! From the jaws of defeat, he lands a shot on the jaw, knocks out Weber Almeida. You're, you're ta is talking about you gotta you gotta crush that space. That's what we're talking about. Take a look what he does here. He takes a step when he gets into the body lock. You see Weber starting to get himself out, but the head's coming down. Knee comes up and meets it. Weber Almeida is out. He has no idea where he's at. Again, watch, you see the head start to come down and the knee comes up. Well timed by Lucas Brennan, there it is. It puts Weber Almeida away. That, as you said, that is grabbing victory from the jaws of defeat. And a crushing knee to the jaw watch, watch of how Weber fast. Almeida. Watch how fast when he does dip. Dip, boom. There it is. Highlight real knockout. And Brennan's corner, his father on the right. Yeah. Erupting in jubilation. Yes, he is, and that's this is what you're looking for. He starts to get up, return him to the mat, and continue that ground and pound and pound hammer fist log and storm starly storm. He saw Ward get it back. He got himself back to a half guard, but he wasn't able to control it. And then Logan started to take over. He took the back and started landing big heavy elbows, making Brendan Ward turn. And at this point, he just starts covering up. Referee Jason Herzog says, that's enough. I'm not going to let you take any more. And for all the talk of Logan Storley's rest. In his professional MMA debut, Blockus. Already a fan favorite here in South Dakota. Well, he had a little bit of help there when Logan Story tells everyone, hey, my guy. And he is this guy, here another here University of Minnesota product who trains with him at Gilcliff FC and That's hammer good. fists. Yeah. Eli Mefford trying to stave it off. And the first round finish for Michael Blockus as he predicted early birthday present as he lit up Eli Mefford like a candle and blew him away. So this is when he first takes him to the ground here. Block is taking him down, gets, and ends up with that cradle and lands good shots. But here's where that finishing sequence is, just hammer fisting him back and forth, going all, just landing clean shots. Mefford unable to really stop the shots. Referee saw enough.